Force Collector by Kevin Shinnick is the young adult novel entry into the Journey to the Rise of Skywalker series of stories. It's about a teenage boy named Carr who has the ability of psychometry. Just like Quinlan Voss in The Clone Wars, he is able to see an object's history by touching it. Shortly before the events of the sequel trilogy, he sets off on a quest to learn about his powers and the mysterious Jedi. The premise for this book is a good and interesting one. It gives us a lot of context about what the galaxy at large believed about the Jedi, at least in Carr's part of the universe, granted he lives out on the edges of wild space. But people don't know if they ever even existed, and if they did, they were skeptical of their so-called powers in the Force. Palpatine's quest of destroying their history and influence seems to have worked. People don't even really know about Luke or his training academy. Like Rey says in The Force Awakens, even the modern heroes have passed into myth. This is a good reminder that there were only about 10,000 Jedi at the height of their powers. Most galactic citizens never saw one and only heard stories to begin with. The same goes with Luke in this era. And that's what drives Carr's story along. He knows the Force and his powers are real, so he wants to learn as much as he can about them in a galaxy that is unable to help him. I see the Force as a metaphor for adolescence in this book. That's nothing new for Star Wars, but the connection is really strong in Force Collector. When describing the Force in the past, George Lucas has said that we have a destiny if we want to follow it, we live for a reason, and must discover what it is. That's Carr, and it's just about every person around his age. Seeking a purpose, having an idea of what their destiny might be, and then learning whether or not they're right or wrong. Maybe learning things about themselves that they don't like, confronting their potential to do evil, and choosing which path to follow. I found it to be a very meta, self-aware story in that regard. I mean, Carr travels the galaxy in a very explicit quest of self-discovery, and the way he learns is by finding various objects that are familiar to anyone who's ever seen Star Wars. So then he touches those objects and basically watches Star Wars. We revisit scenes from the movies, TV shows, and even comics, getting a little extra every time, which is pretty interesting. And of course, Carr gets wrapped up in the story of the Jedi, and it's like we're watching someone become a Star Wars fan from inside the Star Wars universe. Again, I thought the initial premise of the book was really interesting. I enjoyed seeing the two main characters finding clues for their next object and seeing them piece together the story of the Skywalkers, but, and you might be able to guess this from what I've already said, I found the writing to be pretty heavy-handed. A little too on the nose at times, the best way I can think to describe it is like it was a young reader book stretched to double its length. Sometimes scenes just meandered or went off on tangents before coming back into focus. There were some occasional solid jokes, but most of the dialogue was very cheesy to me. Young adult fiction normally targets people 12 to 18 years of age. The subject matter is definitely about growing up, which is appropriate for YA, but the writing felt more like what I'd expect from a middle grade book targeting 8 to 12 year olds. So, I'm sad to say I wasn't super into Force Collector. It pulls off some really cool moments here and there, but I never really connected with or cared about the main characters. All their charm came off as cheesy to me, and there wasn't really an antagonist outside of Carr's own psyche, now that I think about it. The First Order is around on the periphery, but the biggest First Order character isn't presented as someone that's even all that bad, even though it's strongly implied that he's currently working on a super weapon that can blow up five planets at a time, which seemed like a weird choice to me. I would classify Force Collector as skippable. I don't think you'll be missing much, if anything at all, as we reach the end of our journey to the rise of Skywalker. But if you still want to make up your mind for yourself, the book is out on Audible, and you can get it for free by signing up for a trial by clicking on the link in the description or by visiting www.audibletrial.com slash Star Wars Explained. But I would recommend using your credit on Resistance Reborn. I'd be interested to see if any of you have a different opinion on the book, so as you finish it, let me know what you thought in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.